Well, hi and welcome. Today we're in Warrington, Virginia, and we're here at the Fauquier Education Farm with Mr. Jim Hankins, the executive director here at the farm. Jim, we're going to talk about coal crops today. What is a coal crop? What kind of crops are those? Well, the whole brassica family, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, you know, then you got all these great Chinese greens, you know, everything in that family, we call them coal crops. Not C -O, coal. Yeah, C-O-L-E, coal crops. They are cool season crops. And you, you know, we plant them beginning in the middle of March, but fall is also a really, really wonderful time to be planting them so that they will mature, you know, into September and October. They're not going to be afraid of a frost. They'll do just fine to the first few frosts. And really frequently, these crops will do better in the fall than they do in the spring. Okay, so in most of Virginia, you would you could do either one, yeah. but which one do you prefer, or which one do you like to Oh, do? I do both. You, do? you know, okay. I do both. Now, it is true that this fall, we are doing a much larger cool season crop planting than we did in the spring. You know, I had potatoes in this field, and now that the potatoes have come out, it was easy to put the fall cabbage and broccoli in. You know, um, but yeah, they do both. So they, what, what time for the fall, what time would you really be putting those in the ground? Well, you know, a lot of folks make the mistake of thinking that you wait till fall to plant your fall crops. Okay. You know, if you're starting them from seed, really frequently the end of July or August is when you plant the seeds. Um, now we bought transplants, six week old transplants that we started putting into the ground in August. They will mature at the end of September and into October. Okay. Any disadvantages of that end of that summer planting? Uh, oh, it's a completely different world in the springtime and the fall. Okay. The biggest reason is in the springtime, you don't have any pest control issues. You know, in March, there isn't a caterpillar in sight. Right now, in, in the end of August and into early September, there are cabbage moths everywhere busily laying their eggs on these little plants. The big difference is in the springtime, when you've got caterpillar damage on your cabbage, it'll just be a little bit when it matures. But when it is a little tiny seedling, that caterpillar can devastate the plant in one or two days. So pest control is a big issue. Okay. Typically, ironically, irrigation is often an issue, you know, in, in August and September. Okay. Um, but other than that, you know, it, it works pretty well. Okay, well it sounds like a good time to plant for most Virginians in the fall, or in the late summer for a fall crop, I guess. Yes, absolutely, you know, and so many of the crops like kale, you know, kale that have gone through a frost or two, it actually sweetens it up. That's one of the ways nature uses to create an antifreeze is to increase the sugar content, okay. and it just tastes really wonderful with the fall um, kale. Well, that makes sense. And I think this was a good tip for home gardeners to maybe try planting uh, late summer for their uh, crops like their kale and their cabbage and their cauliflower like you have growing here. Kale, cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, they all do really well. Fall would be the only time I would consider planting Brussels sprouts. Okay. You know, they need that really cool weather to mature nicely. You plant them in March, they're maturing in June, and it's already too hot for them. Gotcha. Well, great. Thanks for the tips today. Thanks for letting us come out and talk to you about uh, some of the things you're growing here. Anytime. Well, for more information about fall coal crops, please contact your local county extension office and talk to a master gardener. For From the Ground Up, I'm Chris Mullins. We'll see you next time. From the Ground Up is presented with the generous advice and assistance of Virginia Cooperative Extension. Visit their website at ext.vt.edu.